the boom, a few things. Uh, none of us are getting our shit clapped. That's crazy. Um, all of us is fine out here. That's even crazier. And all of us is fine out here not clapping each other's cheeks. What the fuck is happening? Well, hello. It's your friendly neighborhood therapist who thought she could save these hoes, but got her job terminated as a result. Story time? I think yes. Shit you not, I posted a video on Monday telling men that their dusty behavior is only harming them and that they would benefit from emotional intelligence, and I shit you not, by Friday, didn't have employment. All of this started with a Psychology Today article stating that men are lonelier than ever because they have no fucking emotional skills. And I agreed and doubled down and told y'all that y'all lives would radically improve if you expanded the shit that came out y'all yo what's up everybody welcome back to my channel and thank you for showing me showing me showing me i'm not a smart man so uh, a friend of mine had sent me this uh chick i had saw it the other day i wasn't really paying attention to it but i keep seeing her and uh supposedly she got fired for what she said and stuff i guess it was that ass slapping thing that she did Hello. I know I talk every day about how fat this ass is. You, you get me? I don't know who she talking to. You know, brazen her hair and all that other stuff and stuff. Always saying bitch. She was saying bitch. She said bitch more times than any pimp I know. They shot their shot. And I'm just sitting here thinking like, you don't have no teeth. Where are we supposed to eat at? I like solid food. But wait, why the fuck are you, bitch? <laughs> I swear, every time I fucking leave this bitch, somebody in my fucking jaw trying to decrease my happiness. Sir, you're on a bike. I'm in my car. Stop. Stop. Sir, you're with your grandson. Leave me alone. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, let's. Healing. Y'all will do anything but that. Instead of being accountable, like, hey, this bitch see me, I stared a little bit, y'all got so hurt, so hurt, that you contacted Massa. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what happened. So what you're saying is, bitch, we So first the post goes viral on Twitter, because y'all need fucking help. And y'all wanted to argue with bitches blue until they fucking blew in the face. Some of you hoes is not going to be saved. And that's the conclusion that I've come to. Rrr. I had another question. What the fuck did I do to make no. this? So <laughs> Seriously, what did I say? I'm not tripping. Listen, I don't have to fucking go to work. I don't care. What did I say though? Like, what part? What part fucked y'all up so bad? Was it the dusty? Was it the go to therapy? Was it emotional intelligence? What was fucking y'all up so bad? So because this shit's gone viral, I'm thinking, okay, cool. We started a discussion on mental health and people are, you might not like my fucking delivery, but motherfuckers are starting to talk, you know? Shaking the tables, I don't give a fuck. But then it turns into this entire crusade of attacking a black woman who serves the fucking black community. He needs it. I am a black person. Who endears the stress? <laughs> Aggressive, right? Know it all first, and then we move on to damsel in distress. Just like that. Feel sorry for me because I'm black. Feel sorry for me because I'm a woman. Don't freak. Don't 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 ignore the fact that I have a college education and a yeah. degree. Ignore the fact that I'm healthy yeah. and that I live in a free country. Ignore the fact that um, I just basically demolished my own men there were comments like she throws uh she throws a lot of uh you know them black the black words like them rally the troop uh black words i'm black i'm black 
<laughs> and you go against a black woman, black woman. You go, you, you trying to massa on me. You send a massa on me. You give me all the right. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. She going hard, and a lot of women are taking her side and stuff. And it's like, okay, uh, you know, I, me personally, I don't really have a stake in this. I don't really care. I didn't pay no attention to nothing she said because, uh, I guess I'm somewhat emotionally mature. You give me, I, don't get me wrong. A lot of shit pisses me off and stuff. I, and I, I, but I understand myself enough to tell you that I'm pissed. My problem is honesty. I can't not tell you what I think about you. That's, that's my problem. You gave me other than that. I, I don't have no, uh, emotional issues. So I, I guess I didn't pay attention to it. Whoever got a fire, she say it was a black woman got a fire. Some black people got a fire. I don't, I don't know, but here we go. Let's go on back in. And report her. Cause I told y'all to be better. Yeah, y'all are fucking weird. Y'all scream that y'all want to protect women, protect black women specifically, but have done nothing to protect this black woman who has been serving the communities. I have been violated in several areas, and I'm going to outline each one. This article was written by a fucking black woman, putting my full government and my place of... Now she a victim. Now she a victim. Hey, what is that saying? If you could dish it, then you could take it. Society is already very difficult for black people in general. And for people to call into question saying that I hate black men. Because I ain't gonna be there for you. You know what I just realized that's so crazy and I'm just like really having a hard time sitting with it. Is this daddy issue shit? Let's let's get into it. So you know how our relationships with our parents as youngins inform how we're like view the world and shit, right? Well, when you grow up fatherless, fatherless behavior manifests. Hear me out. <laughs> Since I was young, I was always trying to fill the heartbreak of, you know, like when dad says he's going to come over but does not show the fuck up, that level of disappointment. And when fathers and shit do not show up, you get you receive the internal message that you're not worth that love. And that shit has manifested itself in my relationships of me accepting the bottom bare fucking minimum for anybody who shows me the slightest bit of attention because I've been trying to feel the heartbreak of the disappointment of, disappointment of my father not being present. What you saying is, bitch, we What the fuck did I do? And she couldn't take it. She dished it to all of us, but she can't take it now. You get what I'm saying? That's so crazy. People think that you're a separate entity from the person that you work. Hey, you know what? That In their mind, that's what they think. And that's crazy that I guess your personality at work is the same as your personality in life and stuff. And if you can't separate the two, then uh, you, you, you're pretty fucked. You get me? You got to be a, you gotta be that person that you say you are where people are watching you you get me that's that's what i just get out of this you get me you 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 jumped out there like that fucking senator uh and that twerk video that's basically what you did i'm gonna go off you know since you asked since you asked so nicely i'm gonna go off <laughs> you, did. you get me but black women as always they hear those victim cries those rally the troops those those uh what's that movie that just came out uh the king uh, one queen, uh, king, king, woman, woman, king, or something. Anyway, here we go. Employment. So being doxxed by a black woman can't fake, kind of fucking hurts, and she never once reached out to me or contacted me so I could spend my side of the story. This is the article that spooked my fucking job and got me fired. Not only did she not have any regard for my safety, many. She think it's just the article that got her fired. <laughs> they they try to push us in the direction they want us to go. They hey no, this is the reason I got fired right here, not the twerking video. No, it's this one right here. That's what we're doing now. That's what we're doing. What the fuck did I do? Articles have been written as a result. <laughs> Here are a few of them, just to name a few. Black Twitter has words for therapists scolding men to go. Anyway. Uh, let's check out some of these comments. P 
pay attention to who comes to the aid of the fine uh, therapist who betrayed 90% of her clients who were black men. She expects the journalist to come to her to get her side of the story before writing the article. Mm, wasn't the TikTok side of her story? <laughs> I, I get a get a, a doc. That's a real doctor, I guess. She seemed like she's smart. Okay, let's go. I'm not uh, a smart man. A black ther a black woman just lost her job as a therapist for pointing out a mental uh, a health uh, a healthy way uh point out a healthy way for black men to get better through therapy. She showed the space existed and she was fired because they went after her and now you little pick me as is saying we don't give men the healthy space what the fuck hey <laughs> it's hey look she looks stupid i'm not even gonna lie to her she didn't watch the video. She didn't even watch the video. She just, uh, she just, look, she didn't even see the first video. She just saying stuff. A black woman is in need and she comes to the rescue. Hey, uh, the, uh, what was that? The Menace Fair videos. What's that guy name? I don't know. But he always talk about the sisterhood. The sisterhood comes to the rescue. Here she come. Here she come with a big ass eyes and shit and her nose pointed down. Scolding at us. <laughs> <laughs> in a picture that is not a pleasant picture boy god damn anyway let's keep going our own community would have been the same people that called the dogs in massa when harriet was trying to run a motherfucking freedom we can't save all of you and we literally will not because you harm us your friendly neighborhood therapist who thought she could save these hoes but got her job terminated as a result and now it's time to have a discussion with black people how sometimes we get in our own way of true liberation and freedom because we're so indoctrinated by white supremacy and violence against black women because it was black people who got her fired, black people who harassed her, who threatened her, who doxed her, who called her employment and got her fired. All because they didn't like her delivery and how she told black men that they need to go to therapy because they are emotional. I need a second to process. Yeah, that was a lot of stuff. Uh, we're going to have to go see that again. Let's, uh, we gonna, let's see what that was. I don't know what that was. Here, let, let's, I, I, it was, she said a lot. Look, I don't trust people with nose rings. That's automatic. Look, any woman with that's look like they so called black but got a nose ring, that that means you're trying to be white. You're damn near a rock rocker or something or goth head or something. Anyway, let, let's see what this PLC has to say. And it's hurting them and hurting the community around them. You're so worried about a black woman's black woman's delivery and oh my god, there's a certain way to say things. Black women are two and a half times more likely to be killed by a man. We experience sexual assault, rape, and domestic violence and Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. It's it's the victimhood. Here she goes with the sisterhood. You get me? I don't trust she the same women to go fuck white men. You get what I'm saying? I don't man, shut the fuck up. I ain't even on here no more. You get me? All you you said enough right there. Let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's so your life can be easier. Don't you want to be able to communicate with your bitch? I think, I think yes, right? Long gone are the days where you can just shut down. Okay, simply ask yourself a question. Does this look like a therapist does this woman look like dress like a therapist is she talking like a therapist do you get what i'm saying do you, would you go to her after you uh heard this right here from her would you go to her probably not which is probably why she got fired because you just alienated most of your fucking clientele that's why you got Fire. You telling me you wasn't independent? This is the talk of an independent therapist. You're not independent. You fucking have a boss that fired you because you alienated 90 something percent of your fucking clientele. It's as simple as that, okay? I don't know who went after her. I don't really care, but even me as a man, if I had issues, would I go to her? Fuck no, bitch. You don't know how to oh, close your mouth. You you would probably tell me enough to make me suicidal. You get me? I'm just saying. You, you're not a hotline person. You get me? She says bitch more times than anything. If women came after her, it's probably because she talked like she didn't give a shit about them.
Look, that's pretty much the video. I just want to just, uh, just comment, give my little two cent on that shit. You get me? I don't, I don't really care. You get me? It had nothing to do with me, but mm, it's, you get me? Bye.